Welcome. The video you're about to watch today is brought to you by ALS Cybersecurity. Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification, or CMMC, is the Department of Defense's newest verification tool designed to ensure that cybersecurity controls and processes adequately protect controlled and classified information, or CUI. This applies to all information that resides on defense industrial-based systems and networks. The DOD implemented the requirements for safeguarding covered defense information, or CDI, as well as cyber incident reporting through the release in October of 2016 of the Defense Federal Acquisition Regulation Supplement 252.204-7012. The DFAR has directed DOD contractors to self-attest that adequate security controls were implemented within contractor systems to ensure that the CDI confidentiality was maintained and secure. The security controls required to be implemented by the DFARS are defined within the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST. Special Publication 800-171, which is entitled Protecting Controlled Unclassified Information in Non-Federal Systems and Organizations. The Office of the Undersecretary of Defense for Acquisition and Sustainment started the process of creating the CMMC in March of 2019, with the final version 1.0 being released in January of this year. The CMMC will be phased in for certain DOD-identified contractors beginning in September of 2020. When fully operational, the CMMC will be mandatory for all entities doing business with the DOD at any level. This means that prime contractors and their subcontractors will be required to meet one of the five CMMC trust levels and demonstrate that cybersecurity has been sufficiently implemented. Initial awards of contracts or continuance of DOD contracts will be dependent upon CMMC compliance and certification. No contractors of any organization will be permitted to receive or share DOD information related to programs and projects without having completed the CMMC process. At the time that a contractor's contract is up for renewal, they must be CMMC compliant. There will be five certification levels to CMMC. So let's take a quick look at these. Level one, this is gonna be called basic cyber hygiene. This level would include basic cybersecurity, appropriate for small companies, utilizing a number of universally accepted practices. The processes at this level would include some performed practices, at least in an ad hoc manner. This level has 35 security controls that must be successfully implemented. Level two, intermediate cyber hygiene, includes universally accepted cybersecurity best practices. Practices at this level will be documented and access to CUI data will require multi-factor authentication. This level includes an additional 115 security controls beyond that of level one. Level three, good cyber hygiene. This includes coverage of all NIST SP800-171 controls and additional practices beyond the scope of the current CUI protection. Processes at this level are maintained and followed, and there is a comprehensive knowledge of cyber assets. This level requires an additional 91 security controls beyond those covered in levels one and two. Level four, proactive, includes advanced and sophisticated cybersecurity practices. The processes at this level are periodically reviewed, properly resourced, and are improved upon regularly across the enterprise. In addition, defensive responses must operate at high speed and there is a comprehensive knowledge of all cyber assets. At this level, there are an additional 95 controls beyond the first three levels. Level five, advanced or progressive, includes highly advanced cybersecurity practices. The processes involved at this level include continuous improvement across the enterprise and defensive responses performed at a very high rate of speed. This level requires an additional 34 controls beyond what was required for level four. It's important to understand that the certification 
will require a CMMC third-party assessment organization to come in and perform an annual independent assessment. The CMMC implementation and all of the security controls protecting CUI data will be checked. This will be in place of the current NIST 800-171 compliance through self-attestation. CMMC domains will also include four additional controls that are not currently covered under the NIST 800-171. These would be asset management, cybersecurity governance, recovery, and situational awareness. The scope, breadth, and implementation of the CMMC are limited. The framework reflects DOD's first meaningful attempt to impose a broader assessment regime. The bottom line is your first step towards passing the CMMC audit is having the appropriate documentation that you can use to prove you have the controls in place that are required for the level of certification or certifications you are trying to achieve. To be proactive in these early stages, take a truthful look at your audit readiness by examining the documentation that shows how you meet the NIST 800-171 and the Cybersecurity Maturity Model certification requirements. At ALS, we will be updating and informing you of any changes that develop as the Cybersecurity Maturity Model evolves and grows. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like more information, go to ALSCyber.com.